would you allow the UK and the US to have more of a naval presence uh, off Vancouver? Until we rebuild our own Navy, which is, which is something that we w should do and will do if I'm Prime Minister, um, we need to be okay with, uh, with working with our closest allies. And um, I think that that's a great idea. But even more than that, we need to get our Navy in a position where we can do it for ourselves. What is your uh, policy for military spending while we're on that topic? Yeah, so I think that we need to, uh, I mean, Canada it, it historically has had one of the greatest uh, armed forces in the world. If you look at World War I and World War II, um, we, need to, we need to get back there again. And, you know, a military is a, military is a great investment. Um, it shows that you're playing seriously uh, on the global stage. You get, you get uh, whether you like it or not, you get better uh, deals when you have a military to back it up. And uh, it, it, the bigger uh, countries know that. So I've said we need to uh, raise our military spending at least to 2% of GDP, which is our NATO commitment within five years. And uh, we need to uh, target that in, on, in many areas, but of, of course, including Arctic sovereignty uh, appointments and bases and uh, equipment up there as well. And of course, uh, in, do, in saying all this, we need to treat our veterans uh, properly as well.